Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a new topic that is Fourier transform. So before I start with the Fourier transform, let me tell you some of the wonderful application of Fourier transform. So Fourier transform has, it, has its application in seismogram. Now you may be uh, aware of this seismogram. What is this seismogram? Seismogram is nothing but a graph output by a seismograph and it is nothing but a record uh, of the ground motion in a measuring station which is a function of time. So that is one of the application. The second application of this is uh, eigenmodes of earth. Next is uh, time derivatives of uh, seismograms. Next is the pseudo uh, spectral method for acoustic wave propagation. So these are the different applications of uh, Fourier transform. Now let me uh, give you one uh, more uh, application about this uh, Fourier transform. So what is Fourier transform? It is nothing but a uh, mathematical method which convert which convert a function in the amplitude versus time domain into another function of amplitude versus frequency domain. And the very important thing is that the uh, Fourier transform is uh, applicable for the non-periodic functions. Okay, because uh, if you know something about the Fourier series then the Fourier series is only uh, you can find out a uh, Fourier series of only periodic functions okay whereas the Fourier transform will uh, gives you uh, for the non periodic functions okay so let me uh, show you how this uh, Fourier transform works because Fourier transform is also used in the wave propagations okay so it is like uh, suppose you have okay Suppose you have uh, this function, say this is to be my f of t, this function, this time domain, okay, and uh, this is my f of t, okay, and uh, when we apply the Fourier transform, let me write it as f t, then this function get converted to get converted to it is like this something like that okay so as you can see earlier we have an amplitude and time domain and when you apply the Fourier transform to this it get converted into frequency okay amplitude versus frequency this is uh, let me write this one as f of s okay and this is say s yeah so this is the uh, just a rough idea about this Fourier transform so you just need to remember the Fourier transform is applied for the uh, what uh, we can say is for non-periodic uh, functions and it uh, convert a given function in amplitude time domain into a function of amplitude and frequency domain that's it and it, it has applications like uh, in seismogram uh, what is seismogram it is a uh, record where the output is given in terms of graph okay so let us take now the definition of this Fourier transform the Fourier transform of f of x is denoted by these are the different notations that we are going to make use of the commonly uh, used notations are this f of s or this okay you can make use of any of the things so this Fourier transform of the function f of x is defined and denoted by this where what is this s this s is a parameter okay now uh, if you can uh, if you have a Fourier transform you can uh, with the help of this you can easily uh, define the inverse Fourier transform which is nothing but take inverse of this so inverse of Fourier transform so Fourier and Fourier inverse get cancelled getting f of x and it would be like 1 upon under root 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus sx f of s ds okay 
and uh, after this definition of fourier transform there would be definition of fourier cosine and the fourier sine transform so first of all i will be defining the fourier cosine transform and then i will define fourier sine transform so what is fourier cosine transform so if you have a function f of x then its fourier cosine is defined like fc of f of x so the c stands for fourier cosine fourier cosine of f of x is under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx and this is fc bar of s okay this is fourier cosine of s these are the notations okay likewise with the help of this you can define the fourier inverse fourier cosine transform which is f of x is equal to under root 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity fc of s cos sx dx okay as you can see here the domain or the range here is minus infinity to infinity whereas in sine and cosine the range would be just zero to infinity one remark i would like to make as this is going to be a very uh, computational one so i want you to be uh, good at uh, integration in order to solve problems so those who are having a uh, those who are not having a good hand on integration they may face some problems but uh, believe me this is uh, easy you just need to uh, have a good hand on integration so those who are uh, not able to solve integration so for them i would be putting the link of the video lecture uh, elementary video lectures on integration that may helpful and uh, those uh, integral uh, those video lectures would be integration integration by parts and then uh, some more integration will be there that will help you out in solving the problems on fourier transform okay so this is just the fourier cosine now i can with the help of this i can define fourier sine transform so i just uh, i just want you to pause the video for a few seconds try to write down fourier sine and Fourier inverse inverse Fourier sine transform with the help of Fourier cosine and once you are done with that you can resume the video and cross check your answer with me so I hope you might have uh, written the Fourier sine transform of this what is this f first of all the notation Fourier sine of f of x is under root 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity f of x into into sin sx dx and we write it as uh, fs of s f of x is equal to this and this is fs of s cos sx dx not cos this would be sin okay so these are the uh, definitions of fourier transform with its inverse and also the fourier sine and cosine transform with their inverses so we'll make use of this thing so you should be uh, you should go through that and uh, uh, this definition should be uh, known to you uh, then only you can solve problems okay so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you